Before the video begins, I just want to quickly apologize. The audio quality is not that great. I got new microphones. I don't know if it's the microphone or me using them, but there's what I think is a lot of good content here. So I'm going to go ahead and put it up anyway. I'll try and correct the problem before I do the next one. Hi, it's Neil from Mighty Little Green Machine. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I have a new leak on my 260B backhoe. Um, I'll show you to you in a second. I believe it is an O-ring. You can see the puddle on the floor. This just started. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but I wiped it all down and then I actually used it today. And the fluid's definitely coming from here. So I think it's going to be a bad O-ring because there's no cracks in the cylinder. The fitting's not bent. So I got to take apart and look at it. Now I have 176 hours on the tractor and probably a hundred of those are on the backhoe. So it doesn't really surprise me, but let's take it apart and see what we can figure out. Let's get started. So unfortunately, when I went to take this apart to check the O-ring, I figured out that it's actually, this crimp has failed. And now, not only is the crimp failed, but this line, I don't know if you can see it or not, is bubbling. So, this just turned into a how to replace the longest hose on the backhoe video. I'm not all that enthused about it. I'm going to have to pull both. The easiest way is to pull both of them together. I think I'm going to replace both of them while I have them out, so I don't have to worry about it. But, that's what we're up to now. So obviously the first thing I need to do is take the backhoe off. I've finally figured out how to do the backhoe right. I've been doing it wrong the whole time. I can't believe none of you told me. I was using the legs to pick up and off of, and, in, and instead what I really want to do is use the stabilizer arms, not legs, to just be support. So the first thing I did was just gently place them on the ground. They're just barely touching. And that's the last time I'm going to touch them to do this. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll the bucket down push up on the bucket that'll push the backhoe towards the tractor then you can pull the pins and the other thing that i've figured out is i guess i think i don't know if you can see this or not so one of you said to me when i was talking about the backhoe sinking down put the pins in it and i couldn't figure out what you said until i started looking at this so i there's a hole right here there's a bunch of them but there's a hole right here that if you put a pin in it it's right on top of your arm and your arm will not can't go up so the backhoe stays exactly the way you put it away um, that has been game changing for me so let me grab a pin the other pin <clears throat> then this just slides right in here just like that oh, this is the only problem with it and now it won't drop. It stays right there. So I've done this a few times. It sits right where it wants to sit. The tractor goes right back into it again with no problems at all. So let me go ahead and start it up and we'll get this off. I'm going to be putting this at a weird angle so I can get the hose out. But normally you could just go straight down with it. You don't even have to go that far out to save room. But let me show you. Roll it back. And that'll stay just like that. The only problem I have is I don't know. I'm trying to figure out the best way. 
Try to figure out the best way to get this hose out. I still don't know yet. I think this is going to be the way. But, and it was just that simple. I'm going to leave the hydraulics on for a minute until I figure out if that's how I want it or not. Here's what I don't know. I figured out that this is a clamp holding this hose. I have no idea if this is nutted or if it's got a, a cert nut in it. So I don't know what's going to happen when I loosen that one. That's the only real part of this that's got me concerned. So it comes down through this arm. There's no access underneath. Then it comes out right over here. And then it comes down and goes in up and under into the valve box, which I'm going to have to take apart again. But so that's the only puzzling part to me of that and the fact that it's going to be a pain in the neck. But Okay, I'm going to start with the clamp bolts. There's one here, and there's a couple down here. Um, both 13 millimeter and half inch fit on these bolts. Both of them have a little bit of play. Neither one fits tight, so I'm going with half inch. But I think either one will work. I don't understand John Deere's bolts sometimes, but. feels like that. Really don't have to take it all the way off. Oh, I got plenty of play yet. So it feels like that the nut's part of the clamp, I think. Hold on. Maybe not. No, so that's a nut and a bolt. So that's not going to be fun. May find that this isn't the right angle. Yeah, I might be in trouble here. God, now I can't move it either. Ha! Hmm. Close. What about the impact will loosen it? <clears throat> Let's try it real quick with the impact. For those of you who don't know, sometimes your impact will, will loosen it even though it's loose. Sometimes it just spins. Depends what kind of mood it's in. I'll give it a shot. No, nope. it's spinning. I wonder. I'm trying to think if I've got a longer wrench. I'm about 99% sure I'm going to lose this. Okay, I didn't quite get it on. Hey, there goes the nut. Oh, the wrench came out. That's good news. And there goes the clamp. And that came out. Morning. Now, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to attach a piece of mechanics wire to the end of this hose before I pull it down so that I've got a snake already in there to pull it back out again. I hope it makes my life a lot easier. Okay, so what I did was I took my mechanics wire and I just wrapped it around the hoses. So as I pull the hoses out, it's going to pull the mechanics wire through. And then I have something to hook to the hoses to pull them back up through again. Just in case they're a pain in the neck, which is very possible. I don't know where. That's not that one. It's not that one. So where do you go in? Do you go all the way down? Oh, you do. Ha. Huh. Okay, so the hose goes all the way down underneath.
Okay, I found it. Why is that only one? Okay, I see it. I see it. So, we're only wrapped at the, wrap the ends. I don't know if you can see this, but I've got wire going all the way up through it. So when it's time to put it back together, I can just hook them to it and bring it back. Let's get that out of the way. And then we'll figure out where these run under here. I think I gotta come on this side to do this. Like that. And now all that's left is to get them out of the valve body. And now that. For those of you who haven't seen me take this off before, there's a bolt here, a bolt here, and there's one bolt up here. This has a nut, a nut capture thing on it that's J, I forget they call them a J nut or something, but that likes to fall off, just so you know. These two bolt right through. Uh, I believe they're all 13 millimeter. Or half. That one's bigger. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna use a 14 for those. Now those are um, carriage bolts, so the head won't spin. That off. The other thing that you got to take off is the knobs for your handles. This last bolt here. Oh, so much dirt on the step, the washer fell down inside it, got lost. And now, this will slide off. Maybe. He's stuck. Yep, and there goes that J bolt I just told you guys about. Get it out with a magnet. Okay, so here's your valve body and all your hoses. Now I just got to figure out which one is which. It should be, and there's one of them, it should be right in front of back of each other. We'll get that one out. <coughs> then what I'm going to do is put plastic bags and tape them up over. So tight.
Oh, you know what? Let me grab some rubber gloves again so I can try and stay clean. Oh, I can see which one I just loosened because it's leaking oil all over my driveway. Okay. These are all O-ring connections, so I'll replace all these O-rings before I put it back together. Just to make sure, I have a bunch of jobs with the backhoe coming up. As a matter of fact, I got another call. Just a little while ago, I got to call the guy back. He wants me to bury some rocks. So I want to, uh, I got to get this thing fixed quick. Okay. There's that one. Yep, right in front of back of each other. The other one's right here. So I figured that's how they've been pretty much designed. Now the only problem is which one's which. <clears throat> okay, so the front one is the longer one. These are a pain in the neck. I don't really want to take any more apart than I have to. size wrench. No, maybe not. Because now the other one's leaking all over my driveway. Okay. There it goes. And just like that, the hoses are off. So, I'll get some new ones made up, and then I'll put it back together. So, I'm going to do this in two parts. Removal was the first part, and then reinstallation will be the second part. The only reason being is I don't want this video to get too long. But. So, but that's it for today. Thanks for helping me get this apart. And I'll, uh, I'll see you next time on My Little Green Machine.